Well, across our area, people are bracing for what's left of Ida. Flash flood watches have been issued across our area, and with widespread flooding expected, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf has signed a disaster emergency proclamation. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabello is live along Kelly Drive. Keep an eye on the Schuylkill. Good morning, Jan. Jim, good morning. The governor's disaster proclamation frees up resources for the state to use both during the storm and afterwards. In the meantime, everyone is watching and waiting for Ida to fully arrive here in our region, and towns and cities are preparing for the storm. Drone watch three over the Schuylkill River as the region awaits the arrival of Ida. The hurricane's remnants expected to move into the Delaware and Lehigh Valleys later today. Our goal is to keep them out of harm's way first and foremost, uh, to let them know that uh, there, there is a flooding potential. The National Weather Service, Philadelphia, Mount Holly, is tracking the storm and water levels. And their experts now have access to more information through a new gauge installed in the Schuylkill at 30th Street. They say It'll help track both freshwater and tidal risks. Sometimes they're separate, sometimes they can combine. So there, there are times where you both have uh, a freshwater component and a tidal component that blend together and actually make things worse. Meantime, officials are releasing dams across Pennsylvania ahead of the storm. Chopper 3 over the Blue Marsh Lake in Berks County, an effort being led by the Army Corps of Engineers. So that way, when the rain comes, we have more space essentially. Out to store water and reduce downstream flooding. And in Ben Salem Bucks County, township crews are preparing as well. We have trees that we wanted to make sure are down. It's very easy for trees to topple now with any kind of little wind at all because of the saturation of the water. Many in hard hit Ben Salem haven't yet recovered from severe flooding that happened earlier this summer, and officials say they need to remain vigilant. Anyone who has a home. Or business along one of the larger rivers in the area, such as the Schuylkill River, will have to keep watching conditions um, into the weekend to see if, if those floodwaters continue to rise. And officials there in Bugs County are monitoring a number of other waterways as well, including the Neshaminy Creek. Everyone staying weather aware today as we await Ida's arrival fully here in our region. We're reporting live along the Schuylkill River. Jan Carabao, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Back into you. Taking precautions. All right, Jan, thank you for that. 534 now, and we will be with you throughout the storm as it moves through our area. Look for hourly updates throughout the day and night, both here on air and on our streaming service, CBSN Phil. And now is a really good time to also make sure you have a way to get severe weather alerts. The CBS Philly weather app is free of charge and you can track the radar in real time and get our alerts as well. It's free on Apple and Android devices.